transformation station gonna be transformed fall in love with jesus more and more and more and more transformation station all righty check the old mail here <laughs> well we can read that later that little junk mail oh wow this is from <laughs> My elementary school. Wow. Dear Dr. Naird, it is our honor to request your presence as our commencement speaker <laughs> for uh, this spring's uh, commencement uh, at Jake Henrose Elementary School, fifth grade. <laughs> oh, please RSVP ASAP. <laughs> well, glad to know that the uh, Finally recognize my accomplishments. <laughs> oh, except that means I have to talk in front of a lot of little kids. <laughs> well, you know, as a scientist, I don't get scared by many things, but there are a few things that do frighten me, like uh, spiders and uh, snakes and uh, mushrooms <laughs> they look like little umbrellas that little tiny people set up everywhere <laughs> it's a little creepy if you ask me uh speaking of creepy a room for the little kids uh <laughs> creeps old dr nair down now i can talk in front of uh you know adults and my colleagues all day long because they're usually impressed with my intellect and my myriad of accomplishments but it's uh, a little bit harder to uh impress little kids <laughs> oh boy well um if i'm gonna do this i've gotta bolster up my courage and uh how does a scientist do that <laughs> we get to the research and experiment part and uh i bet i could invent something that will help me be courageous to speak at this commencement exercise okay dr naird let's get to it Test, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. testing, one, two, two, two. Test. Ha <laughs> ha, that gives me an idea. Aha, yes. Any experiment has basic building blocks. And what's more basic <laughs> than some Lego? <laughs> Legos can be an important part of every science experiment. I am a firm believer in that. Okay, so let's get to work, Dr. Naird. Aha! Oh, look at that beauty. I call it um, Naird Specs 5000. Ooh, kind of has a ring to it. Naird Specs 5000. Might become a household name. <laughs> Now, uh, if I've learned anything from this pandemic is that uh, if you have a, something new, you need to run a clinical trial. <laughs> so um, how about, um, let's see, I could send a pair to, uh, oh, Dr. Gene, yes, I'll send one to him, uh, Captain Obvious, obviously, and maybe I could run a pair over to uh, Dr. Hart, and oh, the science kid probably uh, could help me with this. That should be enough uh clinical trials to see if it is safe and effective. <laughs> Dr. Naird, you are a genius. Oh, hey, science kid. <laughs> hey, yo, it's me, Dr. Naird. I'm glad I caught you kicking the old soccer ball. Hey, you're pretty good at that. I understand you're thinking about trying out for the school team. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, are you a little, a little nervous about it? Why are you so nervous? Because I think I'm so slow, um, and I think everybody else is so fast. Oh, well, I think I have a solution for you. I've been in the laboratory tinkering around, and I've come up with a new invention, the Naird Specs 5000. Yeah, and these things, I think, will solve your problem of being too slow. I can relate. <laughs> um, you want to be part of my clinical trial? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, let me hold the ball. And your glasses, because you'll be wearing the Naird Specs. <laughs> okay. And we're going to give it a, a little run here. Let me turn it on. Okay, run towards that tree and come back to me. Go. Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> All right, run back to me. Oh. 
okay. I gotta put it in fast mode. I had you in super slow mode, okay? Huh. All right, now, how about you run to that tree and then over to the fence and back here, and go. Whoa, oh, wow, that was like a blur. I couldn't even see you. Did you feel like you were going fast? Wow, okay, so I think it worked for you. How about I make you a special pair? What color would you like? Yellow. Yellow it is for my science kid friend. Knock, knock, old Dr. Hart. Hey, it's me, Dr. Nair. Hey, Dr. Nair, how are you? <laughs> I am doing fantastic. Uh, I've been working in a laboratory, and I have a new invention that I'm running through some clinical trials, and I wanted to know if you might want to be a part of my clinical trials for the Nair Specs 5000. Oh, uh, well, what do those things do? Well, uh, they, they help people with uh, some of the things they're nervous about or... Uh, Maybe scared, some fears. Uh, they do a, a, just a myriad of things. Are they FDA approved? Oh, FDA approved, absolutely. Uh, I ran this idea by uh, Frank, Daniel, and Albert, <laughs> my three closest chums from old summer camp days, and they thought it was a great idea. Oh, Dr. Naird. <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because I've been asked to give a talk at the big cardiology meeting, and... Um, well, I get a little bit nervous when I stand up in front of people. I remember you telling me you do get nervous in front of large groups of people. Well, the Nared Specs 5000, I think, could cure that for you. Um, here we go. Just go ahead and give it a try. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, do just turn the little knob here to turn it on. Oh. Now, you know, sometimes they, they tell you to envision people in kind of a humorous situation, and it, it calms your nerves. So, um, <laughs> so what do you think? Ready and go, team, go. Win, win, win. Hey, dude, surf's up. Hang loose. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Hart, uh, did they work for you? <laughs> well, they did make me laugh, and laughter is the best medicine. Oh, so you would say it passed our trial? I think so. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, uh, Captain Obvious, did you uh, receive the uh, Naird Specs 5000 that I sent over? Hey, Doctor, yeah, sure, I'd be happy to try these things. Great, thank you for being part of our clinical trial. Um, so, uh, last time, uh, I, I realized you had a, a radio show debut um, that was a little rocky. <laughs> so, um, I was wondering if you could try my Naird Specs 5000. Um, to see if they would help you with your vocalization. Yes, might help your uh, radio show career possibly in the future. <laughs> so go ahead and, and slip those on and turn it on, the little knob on the side there. Not sure what this is gonna do for me, but let's give them a try. Obviously the name is science. What's happening here? What's supposed to happen? I don't know. Is this right? My vision's the same. But it sounds a little different. I'm not sure. Is that right, Dr. Nair? Is that what's supposed to happen? Boy, these things are pretty unique, that's for sure. Woo! Okay, so, uh, Captain Obvious, um, it appears to work, uh, somewhat. <laughs> um, feel free to keep that pair, um, and, uh, uh it could help you possibly with your next radio show. <laughs> Thank you for being part of my clinical trial. Oh, uh oh, 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 ha, -ha. hello, Dr. Ned. Oh, hey, Dr. Gene, uh, did you receive my Naird Specs 5000 to uh, be part of the clinical trial? Oh, yes, I certainly did. <laughs> oh, you know, I tried on the glasses. Uh, they didn't fit very well, and unfortunately, uh, they fell into the uh, toilet, the uh, potty right here. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. <laughs> oh, you know, but uh, I do have to ask. Uh, why did you create the Nerd Specs 5000? Oh, great question. Uh, I created these because I am uh, extremely nervous about presenting at my 
elementary school's alma mater uh, commencement exercises. So uh, I'm hoping these glasses would give me a little extra courage and boldness uh, to make this speech. Oh, you know, when I need boldness and uh, courage, uh, I ask God. Yeah, you know, He has promised to send us His Holy Spirit just for times like that. Yeah, to do what God has asked us to do. And the Holy Spirit helps us to uh, follow Jesus. Uh, in fact, Jesus promised that the Holy Spirit would come uh, to His disciples when He went uh, back up into heaven. Yeah. You know, one of those disciples, Stephen, uh, he was not afraid to die so that others could hear about Jesus. Yeah, God blessed Stephen and gave him power to do great wonders and signs among all the people of Jerusalem. Oh, you know, listen to what, what the Bible says about Stephen uh, in Acts 6, 5. It says, they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Acts 6, 8 says, Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Yeah, and then in 6, 10, it says, They could not stand up against the wisdom that the Spirit gave Stephen as he spoke. Yeah, and then in Acts 7, 55, it says, But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven, and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Yeah, so you see, the Holy Spirit is the one who gives you all the power and the boldness you need. You make a great point, Dr. Gene. Uh, the Holy Spirit would probably be a lot more reliable uh, than any invention. <laughs> oh, you know what, uh, Dr. Ned? I just pray for you that God give you the wisdom and boldness through His Spirit, okay? <laughs> oh, and... Uh, yeah, maybe I have to clean the glasses off really well. <laughs> but if you do happen to fish those out of the toilet, uh, go ahead and give them a try. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Nerd Specs 5000. <laughs> Could be all the rage at the next holiday. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Gene. Transformation Station, gonna be transformed. Fall in love with Jesus more and more.